In this video, I will show you how to unpack this file and also to fix the IAT table after dumping. So first of all, we drag this and open it with uh, Detect It Easy. And we see that the file has been protected with this protector called Expressor. So we can close this now and open this uh, file with uh, x64dbg x64dbg will launch the 32-bit version and now we are at the start so click F9 or this run button to go to the entry point so this is the packer's entry point the start our objective is to search for the OEP, the original entry point of the actual PE file. So to do that, we will press F8 now to step through. And this is the prologue for the function for the stub, the packer. So the prologue always pushes the EBP to the stack and then moves the ESP stack pointer to point to the uh, EBP or the other way around moves the uh, EBP to point to the the original original EBP so now we want to find out when this uh, function will quit the, when this function quits the start will point to the uh, original entry point so the function always quit by popping the EBP in the epilogue as explained in an earlier video so to put a, a breakpoint, we need to put a breakpoint on the uh, location of this uh, old EBP. So we right click the stack pointer, stack pointer is pointing to the old EBP. And then right here, we follow in dump. So this is the stack pointer pointing to the old EBP address. So we select the word, right click and put a breakpoint. I will remove my old hardware breakpoint. Right click and put a new one just to demonstrate to you. Then select word. So now we can go to the breakpoint, hardware breakpoint, press F9 or run button here. And it will come out a message box telling you that the program was packed with a demo a version of Expresso. Click OK. And now the hardware breakpoint has been triggered. And now this, just if you scroll up, you will see the pop here. So this pop here is the hardware breakpoint that was triggered. So the uh, packer is now going to leave the its function and is going to jump to the orig original access, original entry point of the uh, PE file. So let's follow it now to see where it goes. Press F8 to jump. And so this is the original entry point at address 4271B0. I've also commented here for your convenience. So this is the part we need to dump. So we need to dump it. We use Scylla. Click on Scylla. And then over here, we click on File and dump memory. So now we need to look for this address in the memory dump and we get it over here with all this. So we are going to dump all this part here from here to here. Dump PE and give a new name. So select this file and then add on the dash in the UMP at the back so that we can differentiate click save and no need to save memory just cancel this so now if you open this uh, dump okay it will fail so what we need to do is to fix it so to fix it we need to rebuild the IoT table so click on IoT auto search Result advanced, no need for advanced. Okay, IoT found. Get imports. And now we need to fix the dump using these new imports. 
So we need to rebuild the IIT table. So click fix dump. Open the dump which we created earlier. And then it will fix it. So now if you go back and open it again, you will see there's a new file called dump SCY. So this is the fixed dump. Double click and you have successfully unpacked it. Okay, we can now also check it by opening again the new dump file which is this dump file, open and then we press F9 or press the uh, run icon and immediately it runs to the OAP, the original entry point again proving that we have successfully unpacked the file so if you click F9 to continue running you will get this message so that's how we unpack and rebuild the IAD file for the Express Protector Thank you for watching.